I gotta admit, when an exciting new Pokemon TCG set drops, it's hard for me to resist immediately ripping as many packs as I can afford. And I don't like when I do that, because I often don't take the time to appreciate all the cool little things I'm pulling on my way to the big chases or full binder pages. Being a content creator can fuel that fire even more. Many collectors are in this unspoken race to post the best box or complete the set. Ever since Shiny Treasure EX was revealed in Japan last October, I knew Paldean Fates would be dangerous for me. As 2024 hit and the English release grew closer, I wanted to come up with a way to slow my roll. Eventually, I set myself up with a challenge. I need to hunt every shiny Pokemon I find in my Paldean Fates ETB, and until that's done, I can't open any more product. You see, being a shiny hunter in the video games has taught me patience, attentiveness, and savoring the time I spend with good people and good games. Those are the traits I want to adopt as a novice card collector too. The question is, how long can this challenge actually hold me off? There are over a hundred cards that shiny Pokemon can appear on in Paldean Fates, including shiny rares, shiny ultra rares, illustration rares, and special illustration rares. It's likely that multiple packs in my ETB will contain a shiny, but there's no guaranteed number. We can reasonably expect for me to have to hunt between 2 and 5 shiny Pokemon. Now, the difficulty of each hunt can vastly differ. By far, the easiest Paldean Fate shiny hunt would be any Outbreak Pokemon in the Scarlet and Violet base game or DLC. Luckily, the Outbreak hunting method can apply to most shinies in Paldean Fates. The next tier of difficulty is pulling Pokemon that can be hunted in Scarlet and Violet, but not by Outbreak. This would include things like the Paldean Starters and Spiritomb. About an equal inconvenience would be pulling a shiny that can't be found in Scarlet and Violet altogether, such as the Abra line. Still, many Pokemon excluded from Scarlet and Violet can be shiny hunted with relative ease in other Switch games. This challenge would heat up to a much higher difficulty if I pulled an Entei or Thunderous shiny rare, because that would send me all the way back to Sword and Shield's Dynamax adventures. But nothing. Nothing! Could be worse if I found either the Mew shiny ultra rare or Mew SIR. As much as I want these beautiful cards, it's game over. The Ghost Special Research and Virtual Console 8F glitch aren't shiny hunts, and I don't have the old time and space machine ready to go for the old C-Map Mew and Emerald. Since Mew carries the DNA of all other Pokemon, I figure we could spin a wheel with all other Paldean Fate shinies to effectively re-roll. But, not gonna lie, it spiritually feel like a forfeit. Here's my real rundown. Number 1. No exploits, glitches, trades, or raids. Unless they're my own. Number 2. If it's possible to catch in Scarlet and Violet, do so. Paldean Fates is a Scarlet and Violet expansion, after all. Number 3. If the shiny I pull is an evolved form, then that's the shiny I need to hunt. The only exceptions are if the form can't be shiny hunted. I'm going to be running a timer to see just how many hours it takes to shiny hunt my way through a Paldean Fates ETB. Will this be a treacherous journey, or will I be ripping packs again in no time and have learned nothing? Let's find out. Let's crack this open. And what do we have here? A Mimikyu promo. Wait, does that count? I think that counts. Hold on. All right, we begin in Kitakami because I'd rather avoid lag tree thicket for Mimikyu. I know I could probably find a Mimikyu outbreak on my own, but we're going for time here. Let's hope we still get it. I dropped one of the potato salads. Please encounter power two ghost. No! Uh, I hate the potato salad. Okay, what we got? Yes. All right, we are prepared. All right, first Mimikyu outbreak. That only took five minutes. You know what? I don't hate it. I don't hate this. And now to KO 60 of them. All right, we've got 60 Mimikyu's down. Time to put down a sparkling sandwich. No! Oh, I think we found it. Wow, that's more subtle than I thought. Yeah. All right, under 30 minutes, and we have found our promo shiny. Nice. First ball, critical capture. Welcome to the team, Mimikyu. 
You're going straight to grandma's house, I guess. Okay, now we can actually get started. Our first pack is a Pikachu pack. Let's pull the Pikachu. I give you all the code card. Hopefully someone will redeem that. No pack trick here. We got Haunter, Natu, Wooper, Tandem Mouse, Moonlit Hill, Charmeleon, Duckspun. Ooh, I see something. Oh, Cliffa! I could not be happier with that. Best baby Pokemon. I don't make the rules. I don't know. And Zatu. All right, new shiny hunt off the bat. Well, I guess I didn't really have to move when it came to our first pack shiny. Uh, because Cleffa is also around here. There are ways to get it without an outbreak, but I'm going to see if we have some luck. Oh my goodness, we just hit the hour mark. And uh, ever since I found the Mimikyu, I've been spending this time looking for a Cleffa outbreak that's real. So it just goes to show, you can spend more time looking for an outbreak than you can looking for a shiny. Easy. just see about this oh hey it's real all right let's get started with these KOs all right there's not a ton of spawns in this cave so I'm definitely getting encounter power on and this might take a while all right that is one sandwich without a shiny cleffa Let's try another. Hey, there it is. And it's got a mark. All right. I don't quite know how to feel about how we are two hours in and I technically have only opened one pack, but anything for baby Cleffa. Please not sociable. Please not sociable. Oh, all right. Personality mark. Clef of the Lively, giving us energy to keep on going with this challenge. Pack number two has a Dondozo on it. Let's get into it. I'm actually hoping to not pull a Dondozo Baby Shiny at any point because it spawns in a very laggy spot. All right, Lapras, Mime Jr., Rabid Mastiff, Barboach, glad you're not possible, Camerupt, Moonlit Hill, Donphan, Haunter, Primate and Reveroom. We are off the hook for this pack. All right, pack number three. I'm feeling a challenge coming. Like, yes, a lot of the Shrinies in Scarlet and Violet stink, but some old ones do too. I'm happy there's no, like, Elekid in this set. Uh, Minky. Flittle, so cute. Pikachu, top baby Shiny. Reverd. Camerupt. Scrafty. Swoobat. Eggs. Lantern. Ooh. This is my first box, but I'm already tired of seeing that card. Pack number four. I'm sorry you're still stuck with IRL Bree. Could add a nice break. Don't get me wrong. It's nice to see a full art trainer, but in the rips I've seen on YouTube, it's looking very common. Okay, we got Leitron. Come on. Eggs. Ghastly. Ralts. Atticus. Mousehold, can you imagine if they did a three family shiny? I don't know. Little. Oh, the Gardevoir special illustration. Now that is gorgeous. And Gardevoir is an outbreak shiny hunt. We are winning. We won. We won. To get the Gardevoir outbreak, unfortunately, we do have to break out the potato salad. That's so absurd, I swear. Here we go. All right, I'll accept this outbreak location. It's not bad. Clear view. What is that Gardevoir doing? All right, we're right about at 60 KOs. The only thing is, if it becomes dusk or nighttime, I will have to manipulate the clock because Gardevoir is a daytime only spawn. You know what? Just because I can and they're a pretty visible shiny, I'm going to go for a mini one. Oh no, all the Gardevoirs went home for the night. I guess I'm just gonna have to play this game properly and wait for them to come back naturally. Psych! The only downside is setting up your sandwich again. Hello. Oh hey! 
Look at you. Pick your poison. $60 SIR or less than an hour in Scarlet and Violet. It's going to be a dive ball. Don't ask me further questions. And there she is. Gorgeous third member of our team. The SIR Gardevoir. Ah, small but not small enough. Coming down from the excitement, let's go pack number five. It's true we may have just peaked with this box, but we've technically only pulled two shinies, so there's almost guaranteed to be something else. Chincho, Woobat, Scraggy, Gimme Ghoul would have been the funniest shiny card, Artazone, Curlia, Namona's Backpack, and Baby Shiny, Slowpoke! Oh, no poke. I'm telling y'all right now, Auto Battle is taking the front seat for this one. I cannot see that shiny, but we gotta make it work, I guess. Okay, so we're about at the three hour mark of shiny hunting. Pretty light work for me. Um, that's usually about the amount of time that I stream. I think I'm going to change things up for the slow poke. I'm not going to go for an outbreak because I can't really recognize the shiny so well. So we're just going to set up a general sparkling title encounter power and go for the isolated method. All right, here we go. You know what's funny is I did find a shiny slowpoke before in this game by accident. I was literally talking to chat about how I always go up and KO slowpokes in case they're shiny. And the one random slowpoke I went up to in that moment was shiny. Huh? 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 Oh, no way. Is that the shiny? Okay, you cannot tell me that there is a distinctive visual difference. I know some people say the inside of the mouth is more red looking. But the mouth is in the water. I can't even see that. No way. Yes way! Oh my goodness, that only took a few minutes. Thank you, Slowpoke. You are the best. Huge shout out to Slowpoke for enabling me to open more cards. Caught that Slowpoke in a dream ball because it is the dream. Doesn't even need a mark. I take back everything Mean have ever said about Slowpoke's shiny form. And with that, we're back with pack number six. All right, two baby shinies, one SIR, one trainer. Now we really might be hitting the end of the goodies, but who knows? Toad School, Woobat, Fampy, Dedene, Kilowattril, Clive, Curlia, Ledge, Scraggy, and, ooh, Great Tusk EX. I legit forgot about EX cards. Pack number seven. Are we getting off this easy? You know what would have been a much crueler version of this challenge? No sparkling power or having to use the synchro machine while searching. We got Magmar, Nimona, Charmander, Rare Candy, Whimsicott, Atticus, Donphan, Natu, Nimona's Backpack, and Houndstone. Oh no. Oh no. I can already taste my next ETB. Even if this hasn't lasted too long, I'm having a lot of fun opening this way. Let me know if you'd want to see another challenge like this for stream. A Noibat, Chimeco, Pikachu, Haldean Student, Graplocked, Technical Machine Crisis Punch, very long card name, Nimona's Backpack, Toad School, come on, Electric Generator, and Cyclozar. Oh my gosh, there's one pack left. We are ending this challenge on a Pikachu pack. I'm sorry, Pikachu, but it seems there's very little you can do to stop me from finishing strong. Three Outbreak Shinies is the best y'all can do. Frigibax, Pineco, Numo, Natu, Electric Generator, Graplocked, Iono, oh shoot, Luxray! Oh, we're back in it! No! And Wug Trio 2, pack number nine got its revenge. What in the world? Double hitter? All right, we're back in Kitakami. I'm gonna start with the Luxray. Um, when I said earlier that three hours of shiny hunting is light work for me, I failed to mention that that is also the point when I start to quickly decline. So we'll see what happens. Oh, it popped up in Paldea before Kitakami. I'm surprised. 
viable outbreak? Eh, we'll take it. We'll take it. Oh no, there's a Lokix here. Ah, bad kitty. Azumaro, what are you doing? All right, let's get that sandwich going. Ooh, that pepper is hanging on by a thread, but I think we got it. Ooh, here we go! Yes! Ah, the luck is just coming in today. I think this Lux Ray deserves a level ball. I'm glad it was nighttime for this hunt because Lux Rays look super cool in the dark. Y'all, I can't believe we made it this far in this short of a time span. I'm a little scared of Wug Trio because I don't know what could happen. You can't isolate it, so it's going to have to be an outbreak. I mean, I've gone three hours, which is six sandwiches, without finding any shinies at all. So this has been just unbelievable luck. I will say, during this challenge, I have learned how to stack these impossible ingredients for the encounter power sandwiches. Ah, Doug Trio, that just rubs it in my face. This might be a long one. There's so many water spawns. I'm switching locations. I mean, it's not fully isolated, but there are a lot of Wug Trio spawns here. If all else fails, I'm just gonna set up a sparkling here. Wow, there's a Dino Outbreak here, a Sylveon down here. I'm giving up all kinds of good stuff just for this hunt. Eevee? All right, that does it. Let's just do as isolated of an encounter as we can. And plus, I forgot what a nightmare these are to KO, so even if we got an outbreak, it'd be a waste of time in and of itself. All right, let's do it. The final shiny hunt of this box. This was it. The intense final lap and a most arduous challenge. Waiting for each hot dog trio to do their face reveals while getting chased down relentlessly by rude, mean, and jealous water types. No cushion from an outbreak. Too much luck behind me. How long is this destined to go on? <gasps> no way. Oh my gosh. Four hours and six minutes. I forgot you have to like carefully sneak up on it. I hope it's the right one. All right. Ugh, what a weird Pokemon to end off on. What a great one and a great card. I wish there were more illustration mares in this set, but maybe we'll see more shiny illustration mares in the future of Scarlet and Violet. Ooh, final member of the team, Wug Trio, and it is very serious. And look, we managed to get a full shiny team from this box, including the promo. Unbelievable. It's safe to say I got super lucky, both with an amazing ETB and easy shiny hunts. Typically, an ETB only takes 5 to 10 minutes to open, but I got to turn the experience into upwards of 4 hours. Along the way, I developed a greater sentimentality toward the cards and my new Pokemon, especially in a world where shinies feel more commonplace than ever. Did that completely eliminate my desire to open more Pokemon cards? Of course not. Especially when I went back in my game and realized that the Eevee outbreak I got while hunting Wug Trio was a fake one. A second ETB would never do that to me. I mean, come on. I could do that again if I wanted to. Nothing I could pull could stop me from destroying this challenge again. <laughs>